Welcome, Welcome to, to Leeds Rhinos, Rhinos TV. TV. Coming up on the show, Roxy and Ashton catch up with some of the LJ and St. James' team during their big charity match. I catch up with Sam Horner and Keith Galloway at this year's Winter Touch Rugby Festival. We join the Leeds Rhinos Foundation and players at this year's Leeds Rhinos Challenge in Butlins. Join me as I meet some of this year's participants in this year's Tri Club. And don't miss this month's Players Probe and Who Are You? segments as we catch up with Rob Burrow, Ryan Hall and the team. Welcome, Welcome to, to Leeds Rhinos, Rhinos TV. TV. Welcome to Leeds Rhinos TV. I'm Roxy Gallagher and I'm down here at Football World on Pontefract Lane checking out the Winter Indoor Touch Festival. I'm here with Keith Galloway, prop forward for Leeds Rhinos. Keith, you've come down here for the Indoor Winter Touch Festival. You've been handing out certificates with Ronnie the Rhino. Yep. Tell us a bit about what age group you were when you joined Rugby League and you wanted to aspire to be a rugby player. Yeah, pretty much the same age as the, as the young kids here today. I was, um, I think I played my first game of Rugby League at seven, so. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a long time ago now, but. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much the same age as, as these young fellas that were running around today. And did you have sort of like events and festivals such as today to be able to practice off season? Yeah, there was always footy clinics and things, which was good. So um, yeah, it's always a chance to um, you know meet new people and um, practice your skills and, and stuff like that. So um, you know it was a really good concept today. Was it a specific moment in time when you thought I really want to be a rugby player when I grow up? Yeah, I think I always wanted to be a rugby player. Um, you know, I always dreamed, I always watched, watched games on the weekend and used to, you know, back back home in Australia, go, go to, um, I supported St George Dragons when I was a kid, so I used to always go watch them play and things like that. And, you know, that was probably a dream of mine and, um, and you know, I'm fortunate enough to, uh, to live out that dream now. Keith, how important do you think it is for days like today, recruiting juniors to get involved in rugby league? Yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, it's important. First and foremost, it's good to see kids active and... Um, mm -hmm. You know, exercising and, and meeting meeting new people, I suppose, and um, you know, this this is the sort of first steps you take towards you know, possibly playing rugby league as a career down the track. But you know, first and foremost, it's just a good chance to exercise and um, stay active and, and and meet some friends. And what advice would you give to juniors wanting to get involved with rugby league? Yeah, it's, um, just enjoy it. You know, it's, it's I've met a lot of friends over the years. From um, I've still got friends that I played with when I was when I was really young. So. Um, you know, just, just, get, just enjoy it and um, it's, it's just, it's a great sport. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Keith. No worries. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Tough. I'm joined by Leon Crick, the Rugby League Development Plan Manager for the Foundation. Leon, tell us a bit about what's been going on today. I know that we've got the under sevens here and in the next coming weeks you're going to have all different age ranges. So what's been happening today at the Touch Festival? Yeah, we have the indoor festivals over the winter to uh, to keep the kids active and playing. Cause it's, the, it's, the, it's the off season, so the clubs are in the leagues. Um, but clubs from our ambassador ski and Fedback, they still wanted to, to get together, play a bit of rugby. So we provide an indoor venue because it's a bit cold outside, especially for the for the little ones, and they play touch rugby. So it's a bit of a change from what they used to be tackling, and it gives them a bit of a different game to play. Brilliant. So players out there that want to be involved, how can they go about being involved in rugby league and doing the festivals? If they want to get involved, um, they can join the local club. Um, all the community clubs are on our website with details of the, the contacts that they can um, ring up to find out when training is and things. And we've got all our staff out in the uh, in the community in schools, uh, sponsored by Mears, who um, deliver sessions and 
promote the, the taster sessions at community clubs that kids can go along and, uh, and just have a go, give it a try and see if they like it. That's great. Well, enjoy the rest of the upcoming weeks and thank you so much for your time, Leon. Thank you. joined by Sam Horner, the Community Clubs Coordinator. Sam, tell us a bit about the Ambassador Scheme. Yeah, well, we've uh, had today, we've had a lot of Ambassador Clubs. Uh, to tell you a little bit about how it links with our uh, 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 programmes that we're doing. So we've got 36 clubs that are part of the Ambassador Scheme. The Ambassador Scheme now is uh, going into its 10th year. Uh, along with this programme, uh, we, we, we're going into the 10th year with the with the, um, the the touch rugby as well. Uh, the ambassador scheme is a great concept. Uh, as I say, there's there's 36 clubs in it, but they're not all from Leeds. Uh, we've got 11 clubs that are out of Leeds. Today we've had uh, clubs from C uh, from Siddle, which is Halifax. We've had Stanley Rangers, uh, and, and on the border of Bradford, we've uh, we've Drillington as well. So. You can see that it's growing and growing over the years. We started with 19 clubs. 36 clubs now uh, are interacting with, with the foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this, this scheme today, this, this programme that we do, uh, and it's been said before, we, so much development that goes on within the game. And also, the, the tie-in is the ambassadors, because uh, they support it all the way. Um, the support over the years we've had we had over 70 children today. Uh, it's it's like that every 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 week throughout the winter. But the the ambassador scheme is not just about that. We've got lots and lots of things now. We're looking at driving prices down for, for in the central purchasing scheme for to benefit the clubs. Uh, we have we have the rhinos challenge. We have. We have uh, the Ambassadors Festival of Rugby that I think you guys have come along to before. We have. Yeah, uh, Kipperks <laughs> last year. We had a, a, a lot, a lot of 600 kids playing rugby there. So the, the scheme it goes beyond just the programmes. Mm -hmm. uh, it empowers the clubs to, to, to want to be part of something. Uh, and uh, it, it's growing each year. Sam, it sounds like you're doing a brilliant job. Thank you so yeah, much you. and good luck for the upcoming weeks. No worries. Thank, thank you. you. I'm joined by Jason and Matt. Which club are you from? We're from Siddle in Halifax. Wow, okay then. And tell us a bit about what kind of skill set you've been offering for the children today. Uh, the foundation skills really are passing, a bit of uh, evasion and uh, playing well as a team basically. And why do you think it's so important to put on these kinds of events like today? Well, it's always important because it gives the kids a chance to uh, have a lot of fun together see other clubs that they, they play on a Sunday as well, uh, but also the touch tournaments, totally different um, and why game is that? set. Yeah, why is that, would you say? Well, there's no tackling in touch, so it gives them more chance to run around and it's more of a fitness, um, fitness test, really, I think. So what age can they start playing at the touch festival? Um, there's, there's various different ages, but if you go by the primary rules, the age is from five. Um, this is the under sevens tournament and then we've obviously another day will be the eights, nines, tens. I think they go right up to twelves when they start getting a bit more competitive and going outside competitive and things like that. That's brilliant. So it's an amazing event. Boys, have you enjoyed playing today? Yeah. yeah. Tell me what's been your favourite part about today? Um, getting to play a game. <laughs> Tell me that 